Welcome to Chibela the Go. Hello, today I'm gonna show you how to make a chili fish salad. Um, this is the Japanese and Vietnamese style because that uh, Japanese chili fish here it dry and shafted already. So before you make it, try to remove the salty flavor from. Uh, let's try one because that uh, it was really uh, sink in the salty water for quite a long time. So that before you use it, try to remove all the salty uh, taste from this one because it's so salty. That uh, how long do you really keep this one in water in order to remove the salty water? I recommend that you just. Put it inside the water until that you do not really feel it's salty anymore. Just try it on. It's dry and salty already, so you can try it directly. Mm. If it's not salty anymore, you can start. Mm. This is here what I have right now for my dish. And here is all about for today make. What do I prepare here for the main ingredients? Um, about uh, 300 grams jelly uh, fish here. Uh, I bought it from Japanese um, market. It's not so popular in supermarkets, so uh, I had to go to a traditional market uh, in a different city to find this one. And uh, what else do you need? You need onion. Very important to make a, a salad because the onion really make that your salad tasty. Cucumber. I need one cucumber, one carrot, and radish. And the reason why I say this is uh, Japanese and Vietnamese recipes because here I also want to mix uh, chili fish and shrimps. I got three shrimps here, boy already. And how's about the um, some other uh, spices that I really need? For sure, that we need shard, we need sugar. We need a dry chili and vinegar. I'm gonna check again the recipes and then I will continue. So again, that here all the thing we have, but don't forget to prepare a small can or the big bowl in order to mix everything. So that de depends on how you do. You can really use the chopstick to mix it up, but to be that. I want to use my own hands to try to squeeze and to make it drier a little bit so that I want to use my hands. So before doing that for sure that you need to wash your hands. And uh, the onion, before you use the onion, you try slide it um, and you sink it in water to remove the uh, strong smell of the onion. The woman do not really like it. Especially my wife doesn't like it and that reason why I have to sing it in water for around 15 to 20 minutes. I need to do it two or three times in order to remove uh, the smell of the onion totally. So what I do now, try to slide it into the smaller uh, slice here before I mix it 
Okay, I will use this tool. Here we go. I be bare a lot. If um the vegetable here is more than what I need to use, so I just only keep it for tomorrow salad. I like to eat salad a lot, and that reason why I don't mind if I really have more extra vegetable to save in my refrigerator for yeah the next recipe. Oh. I think it's quite. This one looks quite old radish. My wife doesn't like radish, and that reason why we don't often sub it from the shop. This one was uh, given by my friend, my neighbor. need to put water in it. Mm, the smell is so strong. I need to put water in to remove that smell. I'm going to do the same thing with um, carrot and cucumber. Slide it. So, the last one is this cucumber. So I will not really use this side anymore because that this side only for carrot, for radish, but it's not suitable for the cucumber. So when you use the cucumber, you should really slide it with a bigger size like this. But you don't need to use your Peel here, so just slice away. I will need to cut a half because it's so long uh, like this. And now, here we go, start. Yeah. Do it very fast. I just use a half a vegetable, the salad I mix here, so I will save this for tomorrow recipes. So I use a half of this mixed with the chilies, fish already here. So the last step, I will put the shrimp. Yeah. To make that the flavor of seafood only. I don't like to eat a lot of shrimp today. So now is the time to make it to look attractive. And I'm a spicy eater, so always I need to put a dry chili over it, but a little bit because my wife don't like it. Here is the last ingredients that I'm gonna use today for my chili fish salad dish. Um, this is called roasted bean nut. Uh, this is very popular in the tropical countries such as Vietnam, Philippines, Indonesia, Thailand. I don't know whether it is grown in Japan or not, but I found this one in a supermarket. They are ready made peanut, so I just only use it. But before I use it, I need to Sweet it up to make uh, to get the smaller pieces of the peanut before I put it up on the top of the uh, salad. I'm Over. sorry, I have to remake the, this video because that uh, after I 
I mixed it up. I thought that my camera was still working on, but then when I checked that one, my phone was full and it didn't really save any data. When I check it again, it was almost nothing. So now I try to um, show you. This is the result after we finished <laughs> almost a half. And it looks really much better here, as you see. And uh, by the way, I wanna um, introduce you one of the very special Vietnamese food. This is a rice cake, a rice paper cake. Uh, we uh, bake it already. We put it in the microwave in just like a half a minute to make this one. And this is another dish with a Vietnamese recipe, fish and ship over there I'm so sorry that I really ate before I recorded <laughs> but it really tasted so well you can try this one at home and serve your friends chili mm. fish salad with Vietnamese recipe thank you for your watching today